What's up, guys? It's DJ. Wait, wait, hold on. Before I start, I'm, I'm sorry. 2K23 came out, and it's been taking up my time. You know that grind is crazy, and you need to get those badges so you're not dumpster juice in the wreck. But anyway, we're here now, back in the UGC. And look, I got some new information about Sony and Microsoft that we need to talk about. So a few days ago, I posted a video titled PlayStation Should Thank Xbox For This, and I'll leave the link in the description below if you haven't seen it. But in that video, I basically talked about how even though Microsoft acquired Activision Blizzard, they wouldn't make Call of Duty an exclusive game so PlayStation users would still have access to it. Now I thought this is where the story would end, but it looks like PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan is not too happy. He referred to the Microsoft deal as being inadequate on so many levels, and he's directly quoted saying, I hadn't intended to comment on what I understood to be a private business discussion, but I feel the need to set the record straight because Phil Spencer brought this into the public forum. Microsoft has only offered for Call of Duty to remain on PlayStation for three years after the current agreement between Activision and Sony ends. After almost 20 years of Call of Duty on PlayStation, their proposal was inadequate on so many levels and failed to take account of the impact on our gamers. We want to guarantee PlayStation gamers continue to have the highest quality of Call of Duty experience and Microsoft's proposal undermines this principle. So yeah, let's take a moment and digest this because some would say this is pretty hypocritical coming from the CEO of a company who prides itself on exclusivity. And what makes this even crazier is that recently it was found that Sony spent over $329 million to secure exclusive titles from development teams that weren't owned by them. And it doesn't stop there either, it's also been reported that they've been paying developers to keep games off of the Xbox Game Pass. Sheesh. Jim, Jim, Jim. What are we doing here, Jim? We can't be that oblivious. You're scared that Microsoft is going to take Call of Duty and make it exclusive even though they assured you that they're not. But never mind Microsoft, let's talk about what you've been doing with Sony. You see these two games here, Final Fantasy 16 and Final Fantasy 7? Well guess what, you guys paid Square Enix extra money not to make Xbox versions. And the list is not in there. You've done the same with Forspoken, Street Fighter, Deathloop, Ghostwire. You've also even bought the entire Spider-Man IP with no intention on sharing that with Microsoft. So I think our buddy Jim here is just shaking in his boots. We all know if the shoe was on the other foot and Sony had enough money to buy out Activision Blizzard, they would do it without hesitation. And they would probably go exclusive based on their track record. Anyways, that's just my take on the situation. I think Sony has no shame in their game. So let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching the video and I'll catch you next time. Peace.